Hi, my name is Carol Torres, and I have been analyzing the study case of the city of Lima, Peru, for the MVMED World Tour. Lima is a city highly vulnerable to increasing temperatures. On the one hand, Lima deals with an intense solar radiation due to its geographical location, and on the other, the city has a high level of density that sets the city in risk of developing urban heat islands that can be exacerbated by climate change. Moreover, Lima is a mega city that despite these challenges, it has not stopped its exponential urban growth taking place in a formal but also in an informal way. From that perspective, vegetation could be a potential solution to cool the city. The problem is that Lima is at the same time a very arid city dealing with a severe problem of water scarcity. So unless green infrastructure in the city is strategically planned, it may not necessarily result so sustainable. The analysis focuses on a typical informal settlement of Lima, where three scenarios of development were analyzed and compared with MVMED. The first, considering the situation as it is, in its underdeveloped state. The second, considering a development as usual, following traditional patterns of urban design and development. And the third, considering a strategic approach, that is, a proposed design for the neighborhood considering an intense development by using vegetation in a strategic way. This third scenario considers strategies including the identification of some wind direction and undeveloped areas to create ventilation corridors, especially towards important vegetated areas like parks. The identification of the sun direction and building shade to place vegetation and shading elements where needed and in relevant pedestrian areas. Finally, shading common local surfaces like concrete, bare soil, also seriscape approaches including gravel to reduce their heat absorption and improve pedestrian thermal comfort. A particular focus of this study was to consider strategies with a moderate approach to increasing vegetation due to the constraints of water scarcity. That's why in most areas of the third scenario, for instance, the same number of trees was considered but rearranged to demonstrate the possibilities of the city to improve urban heat stress by using existing vegetation. In other cases, for example, the number of trees was reduced but replaced by denser species, so-called high LED trees, to observe uh, how beneficial it is to put more attention to the selection of vegetation species, in particular to the foliage density and their placement in public spaces. The results show that if the neighborhood would have developed uh, as usual, there could have been an increase of 6 to 15 degrees in some streets in pedestrian thermal stress under the PET thermal index. However, this could have been mitigated by taking a strategic approach to trees, ventilation corridors, and taking advantage of the existing shade offered by buildings. Some streets could be 20 degrees cooler than the business as usual case. If for instance, uh, trees with dense foliage could have been implemented in the main avenues of the neighborhood. MVMED helped quantify and measure the impact of different strategies under a water sensitive approach. The results highlight the relevance of integrating uh, a strategic approach in the existing planning system of the city in, of Lima when it comes to green infrastructure. This kind of analysis can help identify deficiencies and therefore help improve the way that local vegetated areas are designed especially to benefit urban thermal comfort in pedestrian areas. Find out more about this study case in the website of MVMED.